Now, the global fall in the price of oil has rattled the economies of many petroleum exporters, and Africa's oil king, Nigeria, is no exception. As Chris Stein reports from Lagos, analysts are predicting a rough year ahead for the continent's top producer of crude. This is where Nigeria's money is made. Oil brings in about 70% of Nigeria's government revenue and makes up 69% of its exports. But it's not worth as much as it used to be. In years past, oil hovered around $100 per barrel. But the price has since dropped to $35 per barrel. That decrease in price has analysts worried. Impact of the fall in oil prices is, to put it mildly, uh, catastrophic. Uh, in the sense that, the mag in terms of magnitude, huge. In terms of preparedness to deal with the magnitude, totally unprepared. President Mohamedou Buhari won election last year on promises to turn around Nigeria's fortunes. He's proposed a budget that increases spending by about a quarter and invests in infrastructure. That investment is sorely needed across Nigeria, not least in the northeast, where the Boko Haram insurgency has razed towns and destroyed villages. Though oil makes up just under 10 percent of GDP, head of energy research at Ecobank, Delapo Oni, says it is crucial for the government to pay its bills. It really reflects the fact that Nigeria is still very dependent on oil, you know, for government revenue, for spending by um, government, for FX, for the banks, for the oil companies. So it still reflects the fact that the economy, though diversified, is not well structured. Economists are already predicting a slowdown in economic growth. The government has resisted calls to allow the Naira to devalue, even though it's lost about 50 percent of its value on the black market. The global oil price fall has shown the weaknesses in how Nigeria manages its petroleum industry, but it also offers opportunities. Oni says the government has started making reforms to its fuel subsidy regime and to the state-run oil company, both of which have been accused of waste and mismanagement by analysts in civil society. Chris Stein for VOA News, Lagos.